is this solar panel this tall or is it that I'm actually very short? <laughs> All right, I think the solar panel is actually very, very tall. So do you know what solar panel this is? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> All right, let's check the back. All right, let's check the stickers out so that you can see it. All right, it's pretty a very tall one and it's quite heavy as well, you know. So let's see the label on this. All right, so now you've seen this solar panel. This is JA Solar 565 watt, and it is. It's a monocrystalline solar panel, and it's also a half cut cell solar panel. And let's get to this other guy too, all right? This is, ladies and gentlemen, another very tall one. It's still 565 watt. It's a half cut cell. It's a monocrystalline solar panel. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Canadian solar. <laughs> all right guys this is a canadian solar pretty tall all right 565 watts i love this <laughs> solar panels all right so we're trying to put these two guys head to head you know it's been something i've been trying to do now for a very long time you know uh, we're going to put them head to head it's something i've been trying to do now for a while to see what the output level is going to be between the two of them it's the same comparison, all right? Because we always try to start on the same footing, same frequency, all right? So you have the JA Solar right here, 565 watts, and you have the Canadian Solar, 565 watts, okay? For, but to make this happen, we've provided for you guys this testing base to make sure that all the test output results that we're getting is gonna be absolutely very, very correct. So we have two brand new MPPT charge controllers right here connected to a circuit breaker. So with a flip off, the switch, the energy flows right in. It's also connected to a precision meter, two of them, 150 amps. We also have the clamp meter so we're able to check what's flowing into the battery. So that's the test space. And right here we have what we're gonna use as the load. So this is gonna be our load. So these are 220 amps, 12 volts battery. Two of them are 24 volts. The output is going to go right here into the battery. So we're gonna monitor real time exactly what is coming on. So to be able to get an equal distribution of current, equal distribution of voltage to ensure that everybody has its own parallel line to be able to run its test. We're gonna have one solar panel attached to one charge controller, one precision meter, and one battery. And same goes to the other solar panel. And also this is a rack that we're gonna use, okay? So the solar panels are gonna be on this rack. So the rack has been tilted to 25 a degrees angle to be able to face the sun and get us the very best yield from the sun because we're trying to make the most of it head to head 565 watts canadian solar 565 watts ja solar head to head under the same sun under the same condition under the same environment what do you think the output level is going to be because by the way it's a beautiful day today because we have the sunshine <laughs> so right here is where the energy is going to be dropping okay so we will find it it's head to head so it's a boxing bout so who exactly is going to knock the other guy out and leave him with a bloody nose <laughs> And guys, if you haven't subscribed, always remember, this is how you support this great work that we're doing and we fully appreciate it, okay? So we'd love you to take your time to click on that subscription button, all right? Don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and do not forget to like. Are you ready to find out what's going on? Stick around, because I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, we're fully ready now. Are you guys ready? Are you sure you're ready? <laughs> All right, let's get started. Right here is JA Solar. It's a half cut cell. It's a monocrystalline cell, 565 watts, pretty tall solar panel. And right beside it is Canadian Solar. Same thing, 565 watts, pretty tall solar panel as well. Okay, so from what we're seeing here, JA Solar is slightly taller than um, the Canadian solar even though they are all 565 watts so it's fully set up and we're trying to find out because we have a very high degree of the sun right now so guys if you're ready let's get onto the back and see what exactly is going on between these two giant solar panels are you guys ready let's check it out All right, so it's coming in now. So we have the energy all the way dropping in. So we should begin to have the test results now. So it's all picked up.
this is Canadian Solar 430 JA Solar 433 Canadian Solar is 435 JA Solar 435 Canadian Solar 436 JA Solar 43236 uh, some, In some instances it's heating 440 all right fellows the first test result is out okay between these two guys ja solar panel and of course canadian solar panel i don't have to tell you what the test output result was you saw it for yourself they're pretty much doing almost the same thing head to head like it's almost the same solar panel all right so we're going to move forward to the second phase of the test which is to switch the solar panels exactly from where it is maybe just maybe the sun is giving advantage to one of the solar panels all right so we want to make sure that everybody has equal hearing <laughs> all right so the same fair exposure under the sound so we're gonna have to switch the solar panel so we're gonna put the ja solar right where the canadian solar is and put the canadian solar to where the ja solar is once that is done we will go ahead and do the test all right all right so um this is fully done so we've been able to switch the solar panel all right if you can remember the ja solar was here and the canadian solar was at the other side so it's the reverse positions here so we've been able to switch their position the reason why we did that was because we didn't want the sun exposure to give advantage to a particular solar panel all right so everything is pretty much balanced right now so the two suns are right under the sun same environment same exposure so let's check what's coming in right now between these two great solar panels Canadian Solar is 437. All right, 436. JA Solar is 435. All right, so it's um, oscillating. Down again to Canadian Solar 435, 436. JA Solar is 428 at the moment. And back to Canadian Solar at 425. Low light conditions, Canadian Solar 141. JA Solar 141 Watt. Canadian Solar 140 Watt. JA Solar 140 Watt. Canadian Solar 141, 142. JA Solar 145. Back to Canadian Solar 147. All right, so we're trying to do the third phase of the test, which is to patch off a certain part of the solar panel. All right, so this is pretty much a half cut step. So we want to patch off a part of the solar panel to find out how the performance is going to be. And this test is really very essential because of issues of shading and overhead leaves and all of that. So if you had to install the solar panel in situations where you had leaves overhead. So what exactly is going to be happening to that solar panel at that particular point in time? So guys, let's do this patch together and see for ourselves what exactly is going to go on. Okay. So just exactly where they have the solar panels divided, we decided to cover the entire cell and see what the output production is going to be for the two solar panel. All right. So in such situations, um, you would always see the superiority and the very good performance of a certain solar panel if this gets to happen. All right. So now that it's fully done, guys, if you're willing to come with me, let's check what the energy level is going to be when half of the solar panel is completely patched off. So let's check it out now. okay i'm struggling to see some space in here to be able to <laughs> check out what's going on all right this is a patch of situation um canadian solar is 218 
JA Solar is 217. Canadian Solar is 216215. JA Solar is 212. Canadian Solar is 215. JA Solar 208211. So the shedding or the patch off session is fully done. So we have the test result for that. And that pretty much brings us to the very um, end of this uh, particular output test. Thank you so very much for being part of this. Congratulations to the JA Solar and of course, congratulations to the Canadian Solar. They all pretty much performed at the same pedestrian. They had the same energy. They had the same low light performance, the same patch off session performance everything in terms of the full output performance from the sun everything pretty much all worked out the same okay thank you so much if you haven't subscribed guys please always remember that's how you support this work that we're doing okay we will appreciate if you can take your time to click on that subscription button all right don't forget to comment don't forget to share and do not forget to like i need to go keep this it's pretty hot in here bye bye guys